What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are watching episode 4 of Peaky Blinders. So, last episode, Tommy and Grace went on this mission thing and it kind of almost went like totally horrible for Grace for like the position that Tommy put her in. But in the end, Tommy did end up saving her and she questioned him about it and he didn't answer. So, I'm probably sure like he might give her an answer in the next episode or I'm just gonna see as the seasons go on and Tommy and Freddie had a scene together they basically like confronted each other and I'm pretty sure Freddie just said that he still planned on staying in the city so Tommy's still gonna have to try and figure out another way to get Freddie to leave so I guess we'll see how that happens so let's get into the episode So many people are in that thing. That's your starter's gentleman. Get rid of him. He said no. Now get out. All right, all right, I'm off. I'm off. Tommy really seems like the calmest person. Why is the little kid spying? It's a good day. Where's John? John's in the garrison. Where is he? Wait, the little boy let them in. Good boy. So they don't know the boy? John. This is my child. Why was there only one person in there? I thought there was more. What the kids need is a mother. So that's why I'm getting married. To who? Does this poor girl know you're gonna marry her? Are you just gonna? He's um, he's uh, Lizzie Stark. <laughs> Who's Lizzie Stark? John, Lizzie Stark's a strong woman and I'm... Who's brave? Oh, it's brave, all right. Brave is going where no man's gone before. And with Lizzie Stark, John, that is really not what you'll be doing. Everyone's making fun and I feel bad. I thought they were gonna kill that dude. The bloody hell happened. Believe. I think our friends are playing the game. What game? Oh, Paul, don't touch anything. Why do they think? They was in France. Is there a bomb somewhere or something? And we gave up ground to the Germans. Attached to a wire. Don't move any chairs. Or open any doors. It's gonna be hard to find it. Go easy, John. Easy. <laughs> no, not there! <laughs> I thought it would have went off way fa way faster than that. Who is that? It starts. No need for chalkers or rafflers. I'm talking certainties. You come in here boasting you're going to do someone down and in the same breath ask me to trust you. Yeah, you didn't put yourself in exactly a good place. We are kin. need to know. Who are you loyal to, Freddy? Well, shit. Are you gonna say her? 
Or just kiss it out. Okay. She was afraid of the consequences. Whose address is it? Tommy, I'd like to suggest a strategy. Will he listen, though? This is instead of Freddie Thorne. No deal. Inspector, Stanley Chapman is a bigger fish than Freddie Thorne. So he's not going to try and run him out of town anymore. Given to the Communist Party by the Russian government. I want your word that you'll let Freddie Thorne and my sister leave the city. So he's still going to try and get him to leave the city? If I were to be fired, and it were your fault, I would do things that would shame the devil. You'd go after him? My theory is a thing to hold. I, I don't think you my last day in could power, he stand for against example, Tommy? I don't know. I would see it. And your sister, too. A baby inside her would be of no consequence to me. Threatening his sister would be your little brother Finn. What? Oh, so he's not going to shoot him. He was about to, though. I mean, I don't blame him, though. He threatened his sister. or well, like, his whole family, but, like, especially his sister and her baby. Like... Took off his phone. Ah! See, Stanley Chapman really does have snow in his boots. Wait, is... Oh, I was about to say, is that the stuff that Freddie gave to that dude? But I don't... I don't think that was the dude that Freddy met up with. You're fucked. I don't remember the dude's face, to be honest. To a peaky blinder. My. Go and interrogate Mr. Chapman until he tells us where we can find Freddy Thorne and his wife. So he is going behind his back and doing that shit. Okay. You think Mike Police don't spill that information? I know, because it was me and Tommy who took them off. Tommy did a deal. Return for safe passage for you and Ada. He's given them Stanley and the money. She's Sorry. really, Sorry. like, back and forth between siding with Tommy and siding with Freddie and them. You did a deal for me. You did flatter yourself. For Ada. And you think this copper will keep his word? No. If he does, you're safe. If he doesn't check them, they'll give you what? And if you want me out of Birmingham, it'll have to be in a wooden box. What the hell? I'm so aggressive with it, like I'd deck you in the face, man. You told me to carry on. I wanted to stop. He had some kind of seizure. He really went all out. Give you an address. Matter with you. Mr. Kimber, Mr. Roberts. So come and have a look around. I don't know why Billy Kimber really just annoys me so much for no reason. Well, actually, I actually have a reason for last episode. Where's Grace? We haven't seen her all episode. They will take up their pitch at your convenience, Mr. Kimber. John is the book, Scudbo is the bagman, and of course, we bring our own protection. <laughs> the dude in the middle really well, looks like an innocent one. As its first legal racetrack pitch. <laughs> Everyone's so excited for it.
finally we get Grace. You know, you should make a new start for this place. Do it properly. Were you looking and like probably gonna try and touch her ass? Got so much as the bullets, uh, just more cigarettes and whiskey. You think Tommy's gonna hide his stuff in a place that's Arthur open? Asking questions. Or even though we wasn't business. the other stuff maybe stolen too? And where we keep this. I'm just trying to help. Yes. Well then you know it's here people come to confess. <laughs> After you. Don't tell me Tommy found out about her or something. You keep the books in order. They were chaotic. But you're a liar. Hmm? No Catholic girl would enter a church and forget to make the sign of a cross. Damn. First you lied to me about that pub you used to work in. Finally, okay. Is it, was that like a kind of fake kiss though? Like, I don't know why I feel like it is. Tomorrow I'll show you around. I'm just up and left like that. Tell me you didn't tell him. No, I didn't tell him. Just like you didn't tell him. Huh? Now why didn't you tell him, Lizzie? Why didn't you tell him that you've been serving his brother for the past two years? Oh, shit. It's the past, it's the past. I don't want to lose him. He's a good man. You mean one last time? One last time. Man, what a shitty brother. I'm sorry, Tommy. That's not a good moment. Tommy, should we, should we go Please to my lodging? Tell me he's like testing her. So the past is not the past. So he was testing her. You can keep the money, Lizzie. Just get out of the car. Tommy, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Tommy, really? You... I don't think you do. So he wasn't a bad brother after oh, all. Oh, he God. was just making sure she maybe changed. And Thomas. Yes. That's intelligent. Yes. <laughs> what Thomas? It's your word. He said yes. Now that's a fact. You deal with it what you want. You take the keys. Take Lizzie to the I feel like he's about to go oh, yeah. off. If you want. I really feel bad for him because he did seem like he really liked her. What am I delivering? It's an invitation. To a family occasion, I want her there, so tell her there'll be a truce. What's the family occasion? If you check that contract, I think you'll find it doesn't say anything about asking questions. Who's in this place? Oh, well, is that his place? Damn, I didn't expect him to be there. Couldn't even do that. Somebody's smoking that for. Told her what you told me. 
She said your brother told me he's a dirty liar. She's the liar for saying that. More than a couple of drinks. That's all. To keep the wolf from the door, she still sees a couple of regulars. So it wasn't... So she was still seeing people. She is shitty. Oh, we're not kids now, John. We still have to look out for each other, right? Always. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was about to say always. Come on. Go out. What? What are you staring at me for? What? Good. Let's go. What? Why were they staring at him? There's a girl in the Lee family. He's gone a bit wild. She needs money. Oh, fuck. John, boy! John, 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 what? John! He's making her marry him marry her? Listen to me. I've already patrolled you. So if you back out now, there's gonna be one fucking mighty war breaking out here. There's gonna be That's a fucked up thing to to, like to do though, party. like why'd you just You just offered him up? We'll be united. <laughs> She is. She better be under 50. <laughs> Ceremony. It's the mingling of the two bloods. Where the two families become the one. Mm. Um, I'm sorry, if I had to do that, I'm not doing it. You're not cutting my hand. Do you know? Ada. Calm down, Ada. Ada, calm down. Is she about to give birth? Water. Right. Now, should be here. Got a heartbeat I hear inside that chest. The truth <laughs> lasts till sunrise. On my oath. <laughs> Keep going, that's right. Hush. <laughs> You know, what if, what if she dies? Because I think after childbirth, mothers died a lot. Was it, was it like in England or like everywhere? I don't know. But what if she dies? I really hope she doesn't. I think it's that lovely barmaid, that pretty barmaid that just walked out that's made our brother go all <laughs> I don't know, I feel like it's about to be a bad moment. But she's okay, and I'm happy she is. Welcome to the world, son. Welcome. I was just about to ask, what are you gonna name him, but... You're kidding. You liar. He looks like he honestly didn't call him though, so... It was Grace. It was Grace. Oh my God, what a bitch. Like, I feel bad. Like, I think it's Grace, because like the way that she looked, but I felt so bad for Freddie because he literally just got his kid. Like, his, his kid was just birthed and he's taken away. I feel so bad. And then what's it called? I felt really bad for I don't remember Tommy's other brother's name, but I felt bad when he basically just offered him up for marriage to someone that he didn't even know. But now he seems okay with it, because 
he's having a good time with Arthur. I think that's the other brother's name. But I swear, that whole ending moment, like, I felt so bad because now Polly, I think that's her name, she's against Tommy, and that's just a horrible thing. Oh, that whole situation. I don't know. Maybe Tommy might try and get him out of it or something because he genuinely looked like he had no idea why that happened. So... I'm ready to see if maybe in the next episode he tries he tries to get him out. I don't know. I don't know how he do that, but it's Tommy. I feel like he gets away with everything. So, I guess, come back for episode 5.